हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री एकेडमी बहुत सारे बच्चों की डिमांड थी कि सर आप कोई जेई मेंस की सीरीज लेके आइए क्योंकि जेई का एग्जाम नजदीक है तो हम आप लोगों के लिए एक जेई मेंस सीरीज लेके आए हैं जिसमें हम पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चंस को डिस्कस करेंगे एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दीज क्वेश्चन टॉपिक वाइज एपिसोड वन को शुरू करने से पहले मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो लेट एस स्टार्ट Episode one. So the first question is: Four point five gram of compound A, molecular weight ninety, was used to make two fifty mL of its aqueous solution. The molarity of this solution in capital M is x into ten to the power minus one. The value of x is round off to the nearest integer. So it's a very simple question. first we have to calculate that what is the number of moles of the solute the solute is a so the number of moles of the solute is equal to the mass of the solute in gram which is given 4.5 so 4.5 divided by molar mass molar mass is 90 so from here we can calculate that the number of moles of the solute is equal to 1 by 20 the volume of the solution in liter since they have given 250 ml solution is there so the volume of the solution in liter is equal to 1 by 4 and from here we can calculate that what is the molarity of a so molarity is number of moles which is 1 by 20 upon volume of the solution in liter which is 1 by 4 so isko agar hum simplify kare 1 by 20 divided by 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 5 वन बाई फाइव को अगर हम साइंटिफिक नोटेशन में लिखते हैं देन वन बाई फाइव इज पॉइंट टू इफ आई राइट दिस इन साइंटिफिक नोटेशन दिस इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस वन सो वी हैव टू राइट द मोलैरिटी एज एक्स इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस वन सो एक्स की वैल्यू आ गई टू सो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट मोलैरिटी एंड मोलैलिटी ऑफ अ प्योर सब्सटेंस तो इस क्वेश्चन के साथ में मैं थोड़ी सी थ्योरी आपके लिए ऐड करना चाहता हूँ वी नो दैट मोलैरिटी मोलैलिटी ऑल द कंसनट्रेशन टर्म्स आर इंटेंसिव वेरिएबल एंड वी ऑल्सो नो दैट मोलैरिटी ऑफ अ प्योर सब्सटेंस डिपेंड ऑन टेम्परेचर वाइल मोलैलिटी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर it is not true for only pure substance molarity for solution also which is a homogeneous mixture depends on temperature while molality is independent of temperature for a pure substance that pure substance can exist in solid state or it can exist in liquid state suppose the mass of this pure substance is equal to w gram and the density of this pure substance is equal to d gram per ml from this we can calculate that what is the volume of this pure substance in ml so volume of the pure substance in ml is equal to density is mass by volume so volume in ml is mass of the substance in gram divided by density of the substance in gram per ml so once we know here if the substance is pure the solute is this substance the solvent is also this substance and the solution is also this substance so if we write that what is molarity molarity of the pure substance is equal to the mass of the substance in gram divided by molar mass of the substance so molar mass is denoted by capital m and capital m molar mass so this is number of moles upon volume in liter so this volume is there in ml so w divided by d is the volume of the pure substance in ml if i divide this by 1000 the factor 1000 will go in the numerator so if i simplify the mass will cancel out and from here we can write that the molarity of the pure substance is equal to the density of the pure substance in gram per ml into 1000 divided by molar mass of the substance so since the density of a pure substance depends on temperature if you change the temperature density will change molarity will change so molarity of a pure substance depends on temperature for water we know that if nothing is mentioned the density of water will take 1 gram per ml 
सो इफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ वॉटर विल टेक वन ग्राम पर एम एल देन वी कैन राइट दैट द मोलैरिटी ऑफ वॉटर इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई एटीन विच इज फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इफ यू राउंड ऑफ इट इज फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स राइट सो दिस इज द मोलैरिटी द यूनिट ऑफ मोलैरिटी वी नो दैट इज इक्वल टू मोल पर लीटर सो फ्रॉम हियर यू नो दैट द मोलैरिटी ऑफ वाटर इज नॉट ऑलवेज थाउजेंड बाई एटीन इट इज वेन द डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज वन ग्राम पर एम एल इफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर विल चेंज द मोलैरिटी ऑफ वाटर विल चेंज नाउ इफ आई कैलकुलेट वुट इज द मोलैलिटी ऑफ वाटर molality of water is number of moles of water so we have taken w gram right so w divided by molar mass of water upon mass of the solvent solute solvent all these will be the same substance so we have taken w gram we have to convert this into kg so w divided by 1000 so w in numerator and denominator will cancel out so we can say that for a pure substance molality is equal to 1000 divided by molar mass of the substance for water we can say that molality is equal to 1000 divided by 18 and since the density of water is 1 gram per ml then we can say that the molality and molality of pure water is equal right when the density of water is equal to 1 if the density is not equal to 1 molality and molarity of water will be different so that is an important point because we are using this point in many places second example the number of significant figures in the number is so these type of questions are very important there are many questions in je mains as well as advance and this is uh, from directly from ncert so let us first revise the important point while deciding the significant figures right so there are certain rules for determining the number of significant figures these are stated below so the first rule is all non zero digits are significant for example 285 cm there are three significant figures and in 0.25 ml there are two significant figures second point is zero preceding the first non zero digits are non significant such zeros indicates the position of decimal point thus 0.03 here this zero and this zero is insignificant so the number of significant figures here is 1 in 0.0052 these three zero are insignificant so the number of significant figures is 2 third point is zeros between two non zero digits are significant thus 2.005 has four significant figures the fourth point is zero at the end or right of a number are significant provided they are on the right side of decimal point for example 0.200 this zero is insignificant but these two zeros are significant because they are on the right hand side right so these are the points uh, which will decide about the significant figures so based on these three points or four points let us discuss the last question the number of significant figures in so it is starting from a non zero number until here it is a non zero number so between these all non zero numbers whatever the digit will come these digits will be significant then after this decimal place this zero is there so this zero is also significant so we can say that all the digits in this number are significant so if we count the number of digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we can say that the number of significant figure in this number is equal to 8 let us discuss the third example the na no3 weighted out to make 50 ml of an aqueous solution containing 70 mg of na plus per ml is and the mass we have to calculate in gram round off to the nearest integer the atomic mass in gram per mole of sodium is 23 nitrogen is 14 and oxygen is 16 so very simple question we know that when this nano3 which is an ionic substance when dissolved in water the number of na plus ions produced is equal to the number of moles of nano3 
so from here we can say that the number of na plus ion in the solution is coming from na and o3 number of moles of na plus ion is equal to the number of moles of na and o3 in the question they have mentioned that if we take 1 ml of this solution this 1 ml of the solution contains 70 mg of na plus ion so 70 into 10 to the power minus 3 g the volume of the solution we have to take is 50 ml in 50 ml of this solution we can calculate that what is the mass so 70 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 50 this is the mass of na plus ion so from here we can write that the mass of na plus ion in the system is equal to 3.5 g and we know that what is the molar mass of na and o3 molar mass of na and o3 is equal to atomic mass of sodium that is 23 plus atomic mass of nitrogen that is uh, 14 plus 3 times of atomic mass of oxygen that is 16 so on simplification we can write that this value is equal to uh, 85 so this is the molar mass of na and o3 so if i put here that mass of na plus ion divided by atomic mass of na plus ion that is 23 is equal to mass of na and o3 which we have to calculate divided by molar mass of nano3 which is 85 so from here we can write that the mass of nano3 in gram is equal to 85 divided by 23 into mass of na plus ion in gram that is 3.5 gram so now we have to do the calculation and we should do this calculation we should give time for calculation right so it's a very simple calculation 8.5 into 3.5 so this will be 25 and 425 5 into 3 is 15 24 25 so if i simplify i'm getting this value is equal to 297.5 so 297.5 divided by 23 So now if I divide 297.5 by 23 and we have to find the nearest integer so it will go one time so this will be 23 and then it is 67.5 right so 67 if we take approximation because we have to take the nearest integer so 3 times will be 69 so I think that if we take approximation will calculate that the approximate mass of na and o3 is equal to 13 g right so it's a very simple question regarding calculating the mass of na and o3 fourth example complete combustion of 750 g of an organic compound provides 420 g of carbon dioxide and 210 g of h2o the percent composition of carbon and hydrogen in organic compound is 15.3 and fill in the blanks respectively round off to the nearest integer we have to calculate the percentage composition of hydrogen in organic compound so one thing which you can observe in this question that organic compound does not only contains carbon and hydrogen it also has some other element which we don't know because the logic is organic compound when reacting with oxygen it is forming carbon dioxide and h2o the mass of organic compound is 750 and some oxygen is also combined with this right so the total mass of the product should be greater than 750 but they have given that the mass of co2 uh, formed is 420 g and the mass of h2 formed is 210 g if you add these two this is 630 g which is less than 750 right so it means that there are some other product which is formed during this reaction and this organic compound not only contain carbon and hydrogen it also contain some other element apart from carbon and hydrogen so it is possible to solve this question by applying principle of atom conservation because all the carbon dioxide is obtained from the organic compound so from here i can write that the number of moles of carbon 
is equal to the number of moles of carbon dioxide the mass of carbon dioxide form is equal to 420 gram and the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 if i divide the numerator and denominator by 4 i am getting numerator as 105 and denominator as 11 so it is 105 divided by 11 from here i can calculate that what is the mass of carbon because number of moles of carbon is mass of carbon divided by atomic mass so which is equal to 105 divided by 11 so mass of carbon is equal to 105 divided by 11 into 12 similarly by applying principle of atom conservation we can calculate that what is the mass of hydrogen in the organic compound so we can write that the number of moles of water is equal to the mass of water the mass of water is 210 divided by molar mass of water is 18 and from here we can write that what is the number of moles of hydrogen number of moles of hydrogen is two times uh, the number of moles of water which is 2 into 210 divided by 18 so this can be further simplify we can write that this value is equal to if i uh, divide this uh, we can write that this is equal to 2 into 105 divided by 9 which can be further simplified now we can write that the mass percent of carbon upon mass percent of hydrogen mass percent of hydrogen we have to calculate upon mass percent of carbon the so mass of hydrogen already we have calculated the mass of hydrogen is 2 into 105 divided by 9 so we can put here 2 into 105 divided by 9 into mass of organic compound mass of organic compound is 750 gram so mass of hydrogen upon mass of organic compound in 200 is mass percent of hydrogen similarly we can write that the mass percent of carbon is equal to mass of carbon mass of carbon we have calculated that is 105 upon 11 into 12 so this is 105 divided by 11 into 12 upon total mass of organic compound which is 750 in 200 so from here if we simplify we know that the mass percent of carbon is given in the question and that mass percent is equal to 15.3 and we have to calculate what is the mass percent of hydrogen in this organic compound so on simplification this 100 and 100 will cancel out 750 will cancel out 105 will cancel out and we can write that 11 12 upon 11 this is approximately equals to 1 so from here we can calculate that the value of x is equal to 2 times of 15.3 divided by 9 and this can be simplified we can write that this value is equal to 30.6 so 30.6 divided by 9 we have to write the answer up to the nearest integer if i divide 30.6 by 9 i can write that this is 3 times so 27 and this will be 36 or 3.6 so this point will come here and it will go four times right so 3.4 is coming and we have to write the answer up to the nearest integer so from here we'll say that the answer should be 3 so 3 will be the answer for the mass percent of hydrogen 3% hydrogen and 15.3% carbon it means that there are other elements also present in this organic compound we are going to discuss more questions on mole concept uh, in episode 2 so don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more such matter you can also download our app thank you very much bye bye see you in the next episode